on this episode of Low Country Cowboys. My daughter Caroline gets her first orphan calf, starts it on a bottle, and starts a relationship she'll remember for the rest of her life. Also, Hunter and I channel our inner farm boys as we start a three-year-old filly in the harness and we hitch her to a post. It's just the first step in a long process. I'm gonna be planting corn next. Also, stick around to the end and watch my wife Natalie as she tours our new ranch house while they're renovating it. All that and more on this episode of Low Country Cowboys. Caroline decided that she wanted her a baby calf, so we went to our manager, Steve Hancock, and, and poor Steve didn't know what was coming, but Caroline negotiated a great deal and got herself a little calf bought. We've got this Philly saddle broke and Hunter's been using her quite a bit around the ranch here and he's done some roping with her. And so now it's time to, to get her ready to pull this four cart that we've got. It's a two wheeled cart. And so we're going to start off by letting him pull old Snort the roping sled. And uh, a lot of people wonder why Snort has the name Snort and we'll just have to save that for another episode. I let her rest right there and let her put her head down. There you go. There you go, and then start over again. She's doing real good with that. You just never can tell what a horse is gonna do. Uh, Fritz yesterday morning didn't want anything to do with Mark handing him that GoPro, and he was a raring and a bucking and a carrying on and just pitching him a, a, a fit until we turned the camera on. And when we started filming him, it was, it was as if he just knew what his job was. And we couldn't get him to act up to save our lives. Uh, she pulled snort on both sides and that preps her for for having a, uh, a contraption behind her you know and she did great no problems there at all So I'll put this thing, I think the wisest thing to do, she's never, she wore this harness one time before, but, but uh, she kind of snorting at it. So I slid it over her back first, put it up in place. Should take it a little better. And that's not a real bad fit, could be better. But for what we're gonna do, it, it'll work. My granddad had been swinging harnesses up onto horses since he was a little boy. And I don't know how many times he had to do it before he got good enough just to throw it up there and it just go in one easy swing. But I'm afraid I'm just never gonna be as good as he was. All right, let's go over the parts of the harness. I'm no expert, but I think I know what the major components are and without getting into too much detail, we'll cover a little bit. This is the collar. These are called the hames. This deal here is called the trace, and the chains on the end are called your trace chains. And then you've got your belly band, 
Uh, my granddad used to call that a surf single. Uh, and I think that's, that's pretty much the most important parts. Uh, we will have a bridle and reins, driving reins, and the reins will go through these rings here and on back so that we can control her while we're doing the work. Oh, and this, this part here is called the breeching. That's kind of important. I was really pleased with the way that filly took the harness, you know. Um, I wasn't very graceful with it. I kind of just sort of slopped it up there on her, but she took it good. She's got a great attitude about the whole deal. She hadn't had any weight on her yet, and that's going to be a game changer. You can kind of see by this filly's demeanor that we're taking her out of her comfort zone a little. I mean, we pulled the rope and sled and we've done some other stuff with her, but this whole harness thing and me directing her from the ground from behind is something that she's not quite used to. But this is all part of the prep. This is just what we have to do to get her ready. And we're not going to get excited. And if she gets excited and upset, we're just going to break it back down and make it a little simpler for her to understand. Right now, I've been staying in her right eye. She can see me out of her right eye. And this is the same thing <clears throat> as, as pulling the rope and sled. It's the same exercise, essentially. If you could imagine Hunter sitting up on her back with his rope dallied off to the saddle horn and he's dragging old Snort off his right side. And then we swapped and he dallied off the left side. So we're just gonna change eyes here. I'm gonna ask her to sort of come back. She's getting a little bit confused, that's okay. There, there, good girl. Now I'm in her left eye. And see, this is, a, this is a totally new thing for her. If it wouldn't have been for us preparing her with the rope and sled, she could have got really confused and upset right there. All right, and oh, I really want her to stop square, if she will. So I'm going to try to even her rear end around. I'm going to move this rear end there, there. Oh, went a little bit too far. I'm going to pull the rear end back. Good girl. Oh, let's just sort of get her centered up here. There, good girl. Oh. Oh. She's going to get it figured out here in just a second. There we go. There we go. All right. I'm going to come up here and just tell her, good girl. Boy, you did so good. Look at her. She, she, saw, she took a big, deep breath and she licked her lips and chewed and. I find that I have a lot of success with my horses when I love on them and I pet them and I give them some affection. They just seem to really respond to it better than, than not doing that. I mean, who doesn't appreciate a nice pat on the back when they've done something good? We finally got our filly hitched to her load, which is a post, uh, probably weighs about 120 pounds, I guess. We've done all of our prep work. We've broke her to the saddle, we've logged her, we've let her pull snort the rope and sled. Hunter's done a little bro breakaway roping on her. We've got her nice and quiet and gentle. So we think she's prepared. And there's only one thing left to do, uh, and that's to let her work. Now, I've got Hunter out there on her head, um, and he's gonna have a hold of her, but he's not gonna do, he's not gonna have any control over her. I'm gonna control her. He's just there for her safety. So let's see how she takes it. Hold on to her, Hunter. Hold on to her, Hunter. 
It's all right. It's all right. Well, that was the last thing that I wanted to happen right there. Thank God we had Hunter out there on her head. You know. Let me try it one more time. You just, you just lead her a little bit, Hunter. There you go. It's okay. Good. 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 Good girl. Let's swap directions. Go to the left. I'll guide her. You just, you just, there you go. Just walk. There you go. Good. That's good. That's real good. That's a new sensation for her to have that weight. She's had the reins and she's had ropes around her rear end, around her hind feet, but she's never had the weight of the of that post and those traces hitting across her hocks so it's a new sensation and it's it's going to take a take just a little while here before she gets used to it and accepts it and hunter's not really guiding her anymore i'm guiding her now he's just there for safety i'm gonna be planting corn next <laughs> you know, we prepped that filly all that we possibly could. Uh, we did all of that stuff with the rope and sled and all that, but at the end of the day, she's got to feel the tug of a collar, a bridle, the belly band, the trace chains and the reins all at one time. That's a lot of pressure. For her to have that little panic session there, it didn't surprise me a lot, and I'm just glad that she worked through the other side and came out. And at the end of the day, everything went really well. We'll be moving into our new ranch house soon and we're real excited about that. They've been working on it, uh, renovating it here for the past several weeks and, and they're, they're almost finished. They're doing a really great job with it. And they've refinished the floors. Everything looks great down there. It's a great house, it's, it's big, it's four bedrooms, there's plenty of room for all of us. Maybe there'll even be a bedroom for my mom. <laughs>